Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a new love reading for my dearest Scorpios out there. Scorpio, the intentions for this reading is that this is a brand new person, a new love for my singles out there, but we're not going to write off that it could be a new cycle with a past person, um, but my intentions truly are that it's somebody brand new. Also, um, I urge you guys to play with time because this new person could be somebody who's already in your energy or that you've been dealing with, um, or it could be somebody that you haven't met yet. All right, my dear Scorp Scorpios, let's go ahead and jump into this. And I am going to ask that you guys go ahead and hit that like button if these messages resonate with you. Um, it does some amazing things for the video and also for my channel. And I just want to let you guys know I, each, I appreciate each and every one of you, my Scorpio tribe out there. All right, so let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you regarding this connection, please, or this new person. So we're going to take a look at the bridging energy between you. And we've got the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, interesting. So for some of you guys, I'm getting, you could be dealing with another water sign. Um, I also feel that this is somebody that doesn't show their emotions. Like it's really hard to get a read on them. Um, or maybe Scorpio, they're trying to figure you out. All right. I also feel this person might be waiting to see you again. So I don't know if you work with them or you go to school or you see them at the dog park or the grocery store, wherever it is. I feel like this person's still waiting to see you. All right. For some of you guys, you may meet this person over the holidays. Um, it could be that there's some drinks involved. So just be aware of that. Um, that it may not be exactly, um, I don't know, the impression you want to give or that they want to give. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. I do feel this person, if um, this person is going to have like nice new shoes as well, and they're going to be very sort of coordinated, like they're going to match their hat or their sweater or their or their shirt. Like there's somebody who likes to sort of coordinate and maybe stand out a little bit because of that. Okay. So Scorpio, you're in the three of swords energy. So a lot of you guys, um, yeah, you know, Scorpios, you guys could be in really guarded energy if you're healing from heartbreak or some sort of betrayal. Um, you could also sort of be in sort of hiding is what I'm getting. Um, don't take that the wrong way, but you know, just, just healing, not really focused on love and romance. Um, I don't feel it's with this person. I feel like you're going to meet this person kind of when you least expect it. Um, and like I said, if I feel like they're waiting to see you. They're waiting to talk to you. Um, they may or may not know that you've had your heart broken and you're sort of healing, but they're definitely curious and like... I get like they want to they they want to do detective work. They want to know where you are, what you've been up to, but of course not in like a creepy possessive way. All right. Yeah, we've got the King of Swords, so you could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini or an Aquarius. Yeah, this person um this person's going to communicate. There's something about the color blue, like either their clothing or their shoes or something like that. Um they're going to have a really kind of cool style to them is what I'm getting. Um, this King of Swords person, this is somebody who's very, who's very loyal, who's very just, who's a good communicator. Um, this person is going to be straightforward. Like they're going to be like, Scorpio, yo, where were you? <laughs> you know, what were you doing? Where have you been? I've missed you. Um, you know, that type of energy. So I, I like that. Um, this is also somebody who's been through their fair share of battles when it comes to love. Um, but this is somebody who sees things. They may be able to give you some really good advice. You guys are going to connect very much so on an intellectual level. Um, this is kind of similar in the, in the Libra reading, but I do see that there's potential for healing through this connection. Like this person could be very supportive and create a safe space for you, um, to just be yourself and, you know, to purge release and, and have something beautiful and new with this person. So the way you see this person, the queen of wands, so they could be a business owner. Um, they could have fire in their chart or they're just very sexy and charismatic, charming. There's somebody who's really good at manifesting. This is somebody who's in alignment, Scorpio. So this is somebody who's pretty healthy. They have a healthy ego as well as what I'm seeing. But the queen of wands is also, I feel like you're going to meet this person like at a holiday party, um, or, you know, maybe like through friends and family, like getting together. Um, I do feel this person has done their fair share of traveling as well. This person might enjoy skiing is what I'm seeing, um, or taking sort of, um, vacations where they're active. So like hiking or skiing or like scuba diving or snorkeling, um, because this person also really likes to learn about their world. Okay. That's really important. Like, I feel like this person, they have a lot of wisdom and knowledge, but they really like to learn about the world that they're in. So like when they go on vacation, like they will maybe not hit up the museums where they are, but they'll definitely like take a tour of, you know, whatever that place is like famous for, you know. 
Um, I like I like their energy. They're very they're mature. They're charismatic. Very attractive. So they're viewing you, Scorpio, Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this person knows either intuitively or they know that you've been hurt, that you're hesitate, you're hesitant to get involved in a relationship right now. Um, you might have a little bit of that. Uh, I, I want to, I don't want to say it's fear, but just trepidation or hesitation when it comes to love and romance, because you've been betrayed or you've been hurt. And I, I feel like when you meet this person, like you're coming out of healing or you're still sort of in the process of healing, um, they might feel like you're a little bit shy, Scorpio. This might be somebody who makes you blush. Um, and if that's not the case, again, page of pentacles in reverse is a little bit of a hiding energy. They, they want to know where you are or where you've been, and they're definitely going to ask you. Okay. And they may sort of be trying to investigate right now, like asking friends and family, maybe they're checking you out online. Um, but I do feel that if you guys have already met this person, they're trying to figure out where, where you're, where you've gone off to, um, and, and, and if this is a future connection, they're going to meet you and be struck by you in a really positive way. Um, obviously, you know, like no violence, right? But like they're going to, they're going to be, they're just going to be really like, you're going to make such a big impression on this person, but I feel like you're going to dip. Like you're going to, you're not either going to think about them as, uh, as somebody you would be in a, in a relationship with. I do feel, I don't feel like you're going to be intimidated by this person, Scorpio, but I kind of feel like they're not your usual type. So you might just like, and I think you're going to be very attracted to them. So I do see I get like an, a shy energy off of you um, because this person is balanced and it's like it feels like they've got their SHIT together. What you like about this person, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I like this in reverse um, because this is somebody who's very independent, somebody who pretty much has everything that they need. But there's something unconventional about them. So this person is going to have like success. They're going to have stability. Maybe they have their own home. Um, you know, they may have also, you know, gone through a divorce or separation that, you know, where they can be, they, they understand what you're going through or what you've been through. But I also feel with this 10 of pentacles in reverse, um, I've, I always, I mentioned this a lot, but one of my favorite readers, Gemstone Tarot, she calls this the running away with the circus card. And I just love that because it tells me this person is unique, either the way they dress or the way they do life the path they've taken in life. Um, I am getting this maybe somebody who has lived abroad or likes to travel a lot. And like this person maybe didn't take like the normal path in life. And I think you like that about them. What they like about you, Scorpio, you're, um, well, even though they, they're looking for you, trying to figure out where you've been, what you're doing, um, the seven of swords and reverses an energy of somebody who's a straight shooter in, a, in the sense that they like that you're going to be brutally honest with them. Um, they like your honesty. Um, they may feel like you're avoiding them after you guys kind of talk or after, you know, you, and, and I do feel like this person might make you a little bit shy, Scorpio, but only at the beginning. And this person, what they do find out about you, either through friends or family or online or talking to you, they're going to like it. Like they just like you, Scorpio. What you don't like about this person, the three of pentacles in reverse, some of you guys, you might work with this person. Um, you might be a little bit hesitant to get involved with them if you do work with them because it's either against company policy or you're worried about the politics or you're worried about drama or you're worried about gossip. Beware of gossip, okay, what you might hear about this person because I actually think this person's quite balanced and quite fair and, and a good person. Their, their masculine and their feminine energies are quite balanced, so there's not a lot that seems to scare this person. Um, you know, they can take it, whatever it's sort of like you have to offer. Um, but you might feel like there's a little bit of a lack of compatibility and it could just be that you're feeling like timing is off, um, or you're not quite ready for a relationship. Um, this person may own their own business and they might be very sort of, um, they might be a bit serious at times as well. All right. Um, what they don't like about you, the page of cups. So Scorpio, they're, they're seeing you as pages. Um, so this person could be a little bit younger. Um, this person may be actually physically older than you. Okay. And so they might wish there was a little bit less of an age gap. Um, I do feel this person has a lot of experience under their belt. So they might be a little bit, I don't think that they're going to look at you as inexperienced by any means, but I think they wish you would like take control or they wish you would be, they wish you would just be maybe a little bit more forward um, because we've got like king and queen and then we've got pages. So it's like there might be a little bit of a lack of compatibility of like where you are in life or age. 
Um, you know, it could be that you're still sort of studying and this person has their own business, but you know, none of that really matters. What does matter though, is if you guys are truly compatible souls, like, do you share the same vision? Can you get on the same page? Um, you know, and how you feel about one another, right? Does this person build you up? Do they, um, and, and, and just be careful of not projecting insecurities onto this connection before you really truly know, because this person's very, very interested in you. Um, they see you as somebody that they'd like to sort of invite into their world or somebody they'd like to have a future with. Um, but um, yeah, but that like, I'm not sure you're ready, Scorpio. So remember, these readings are about the person who's coming towards you. It doesn't necessarily mean this is your soulmate or the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Um, there may be a little bit of an incompatibility here. Um, you might be also like if, for example, one of you has done a lot more traveling or, you know, has had a lot more life experience, the other might project, you know, a little bit of, you know, anxiety. Okay. And that may be you, Scorpio. So just be aware of that. Um... Yeah, like they see that you're a little bit hesitant when it comes to love and that could, that could be because you're still healing, Scorpio. So your final outcome advice energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're being told to really take it slow. I also see the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is about doing things differently because some of my Scorpios, this person is going to be very, very different than your usual type and expectations. When I'm looking at the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands energy, I feel like they're an upgrade. I really do. Like, I feel like this person is mature. They've got, they're, they're stable. They're caring. They're loving. They're giving. And it's about whether or not you guys are compatible and you guys have the same, you know, you guys can really get along and you share that same vision. And I feel like spirit's telling you to, you know, be open to that because the Knight of Pentacles in reverse can obviously be, you know, somebody stopping, no, not taking action, you know, like somebody future faking. It can be all of these things, right? But what I see it as the Knight of Pentacles, when he's in the upright, he's a soldier and he's slow and steady and he's moving forward. But I feel like this is about thinking outside of the box and that this is like, this could be a, a hypothetically an unconventional relationship and like I said maybe there's a big age gap between you guys but I also feel like this is encouragement to see Scorpio because I, I know that you've been hurt with that three of swords um, or the or the type of person or the people that you've been attracting haven't been haven't been you know, haven't been working out. So it may be, it may be a beautiful breath of fresh air to look elsewhere or to, you know, or to change up the type of person that you're calling in. So we have the magician in reverse. So we have Gemini and we also have Virgo energy. So this is about believing, believing in yourself, Scorpio. And then also, you know, that goes both ways. If you're not ready, if you're still healing, if there's something that's not right about this connection, then you know what? Honor that Scorpio. But I also feel like there's a, like you've been hurt and there's a little bit of a lack of self-confidence that either, or someone in this connection, I'm reading it as you, although we could absolutely swap the energy, so just keep that in mind, but that somebody here is like, I don't have enough to offer this person right now. Like, this is a great person, but I don't, you know, I don't have anything to give, or I've got to work on other things, or I just don't feel like, it feels like a lot of pressure somehow, okay? So... Magician in reverse is pay attention to what you think, what you believe, and what you imagine. Um, the King of Cups in reverse tells me, though, Scorpio, if you're not ready to open your heart, don't push it. Okay? Don't push it. Remember, what is truly meant for you will never pass you by. Okay? So let's see what we can get this person. Um, they could go to casinos. Maybe they like to gamble. Um, maybe they like to do scratch offs and that sort of things, that sort of thing. But this person has definitely taken some risks that I feel like have panned out for them financially. So again, they could be an entrepreneur here. Um, and this person, they, I feel like they, they were able to succeed even when other people doubted them. Okay. So they might, they might come from, you know, a background where they didn't have a lot of opportunities and that sort of thing, or they like, this is a risk taker. So we get the energy of prostitutes. So don't be triggered by that word. You guys, um, this is somebody who has survived without negotiating the power of their spirit. Yeah. So like I said, they've maybe, Maybe they've lost some um, considerable money with finances or maybe in a divorce or separation. Um, but this person, this person knows who they are. This person's very stable. They're very self-assured. 
Um, so we get hedonist. I, I really like this. I like this energy because it's about enjoying the finer things in life. Okay, so they're creative. They like the finer things in life, and that's you know that can be that can be like sex, drugs, and rock and roll, Scorpio. Um, so again, this person and and I feel like they want to share that with you. Like this is the type of person that's going to take you out for nice meals. Um, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna do it right. They're gonna, you know, they're kind of a go big or go home type person, but that's just kind of their personality. Like they've worked for it. All right. We get companion spirit saying they also have potential to be a, a long, longer term partner, um, loyal, um, tenacious and unselfish. So I like that. Like, and we see here, you guys could be from different backgrounds, cultures, religions, traditions, beliefs, but I also feel like there's a lot, this person sees, that although you guys might not be the same, that they can offer you what you don't have and you can offer them what they don't have. But I do feel a lot of it comes down to Scorpio if you're ready or you're healed, okay? And we get the lover, wow. So you guys are gonna be, um, your, your physical connection is gonna be off the charts, okay? Um, I do think this person's also going to buy you really nice things. I also feel that the type of physical connection and the lovemaking that you guys have is going to be very different. This is somebody who's, uh, and I know this is, I don't mean to be, um, you know, to be like too sexual here, but this is somebody who's definitely concerned about your pleasure. Um, and you guys are definitely going to be maybe trying new things, but it's going to be, I don't know, it's just lush. It's really luxurious. So, you know, spirit saying there's, there's a lot to, there's a lot to this person, right? A lot more than meets the eye. There's actually really good chemistry. Um, this is also somebody who's probably, like I said, they're, they're a little bit rebellious. Like they take risks. Um, they're not just going to follow the pack. And that's partially why this person, you know, has been or is so successful. Okay. So, wow, hedonist and lover together, Scorpio. You can imagine just, you know, let your mind race. <laughs> I know mine is. My Scorpio moon is racing there. Like, wow, okay. Mm. I don't know. This person might take you on a trip. They're showing me, like, a nice fancy hotel room. Um, they're showing me nice vacations. Like, this person has a lot to offer. I feel like it's about whether or not... You're ready, Scorpio. And we get changing. A lot of you guys, if you decide to go with this person or give this person a chance, it's a departure from the type of person you've been dating or you've been with. And I feel like it's a good thing. Okay, I really do. Because this person, like, you know, they're, it's like they're such a, I don't know if you want to call them a triple threat here, but this is somebody who has, who's loyal. Somebody who likes the finer things in life. Somebody who's going to be very concerned about your pleasure. Okay, and just you guys enjoying life together. They're they're financially stable. You know, they're intellectual. Yeah, it's it just feels like it's a matter of whether or not you're ready, Scorpio. All right, we get male running. Okay. I know this is about divine, divine masculine, divine feminine, but truthfully, that's not how I'm reading this. I just feel this person's athletic. They're in shape. They might be a runner. Okay. Like this is somebody they, like I said, they're, this is somebody who's also quite disciplined. So like if they have their own business, they they have like an exercise routine. Like they're showing me running in the morning. This person's a sucker for you. And I feel Scorpio. It's a lot with this magician card in reverse. It's a lot about you believing it. Because you might not believe it. Like, this might be somebody... I'm not getting that they're famous, although it's possible. But this is like... This person has a lot to offer. And I feel like... I don't know if you've been calling in, like, duds or people that just were... I don't know, not pulling their weight. Um, I feel like this is just a different class of person. And lunch breaks and work affairs. So this is somebody... You know what I just got? That this is the type of person that would bring you lunch... Um, like I said, they're not going to be able to get enough of you, Scorpio. So yeah, they're definitely going to hit you up at lunch. And yeah. And I also, we get quick replies, but I don't get that this is a cheating energy. I get that this person, if you reach out, Scorpio, they're going to, they're going to go for it. This person is somebody that isn't going to sleep on it. Okay. Like they're, they know they want you. They're looking for you or they will be right. And they, and there's something about you. And I kind of feel like my Scorpio is you don't believe it or you don't feel ready. And of course, that's going to be up to you, you know? I'm just getting, like, I'm just getting this really powerful energy here, though. Like, come on, Scorpio, this person, <laughs> this person could be so great. That's what it feels like, at least from where I'm sitting. So, and just very different. Um, 
All right, let's see what else we can get about this person. Has a tendency to be forgetful or late. Yeah, so I don't necessarily feel, I feel like this person is, is actually quite on top of it. They're quite switched on um, with, you know, they're, they think a lot. I think they have a lot of responsibilities. So again, that might be something that bothers you. They might be a little bit late um, to events. And I feel like that more has to do with work. They want to send you a message. Yeah, like I said, some of you guys, this person's in your in your energy already and they want to know where you are, <laughs> what you've been doing. You know, uh, they have dark hair. Beautiful, Scorpio. And we get, has lost a loved one within this last year. Yeah, so that could be anything, right? So they have had some difficulties. And I saw that there with that sword's. Um, that sword energy. They've they've been through their fair share of difficulties. All right. And your paths will cross after you make a final decision. And that might be about whether or not you're healed and you're ready to get back out there. This person may appear or like I said, it's kind of feels like they're already in your energy or you're sort of heartbroken over somebody when you guys kind of meet. And this could be somebody you work with. We get that. We get that a lot coming out in the reading. Spirit's telling you to give this person a chance, Scorpio. <laughs> and a lot of you, I feel there's a little bit, and don't hate me for saying this, but a lot of you, there's a little bit of fear-based thinking. Like this person's like, you know, they're like too good to be true, or they have all this money, or they have all this stability. And, you know, here I am just sort of, you know, you know, just here I am like healing and maybe feel like, you know, I'm still studying or I'm still learning or I've still got a lot to do. So, and I don't think this person is going to inhibit your freedom or your growth, okay? Um, but yeah, you guys have potential to be a perfect match. I think this person sees it, sees you as like the yin to their yang. You complete each other in the most harmonious way. And we get signs and clues. So Scorpio, the universe is talking to you. Um, bonding. As you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. So it might not feel like you guys have a lot in common, but you do. Scorpio, I don't know what to say. I'm like, I'm so, I'm like rooting for you to give this person a chance. They feel really amazing. But the message here really truly is when you're ready, okay? If you're ready to trust your intuition, you know, if you're going to take a risk, are you going to, I feel, do something different because this person is very different than, than who or what you've been dealing with. And, you know, like I said, where I'm sitting, it feels good. All right, you guys. So if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also take a moment to check out the description box or ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to hit that little wiggly bell so you guys get updates whenever I upload new content. All right, guys. Love and light. Take care.